And we begin in the Democratic Republic of Congo, where talks between the ruling coalition and the opposition have failed to reach a compromise on the political future of President Joseph Kabila. His mandate ends on Monday, but President Kabila intends to stay in power until elections are organized. CCTV's Clementine Logan sent this update now from the capital, Kinshasa. Delegates say negotiations will resume on Wednesday once the Catholic bishops mediating the talks return from a trip to Rome. But for some, this is too little too late. Opposition member Felix Chisichedi has already branded the talks a failure and says the ball is now in the court of the Congolese people. The opposition UDPS party accuses the government of being unwilling to compromise. Si les if the bishops call us on Wednesday, we will go and do what we call talk and fight. The population will continue to exercise its rights and we will continue to put forward our arguments. No one can stop the people who are the real custodians of power from refusing a leader. Anything can happen. We will never take up arms, but this type of economic and social instability is like a volcano that can erupt at any moment. Members of the presidential majority were unavailable for comment, but they insist President Joseph Kabila will lead the country until elections are organized, they say, in 2018. Security has been stepped up across the city. Western diplomats are urging non-essential nationals to leave the country. And the government has ordered social networks to be shut down at midnight. The 19th is a date in many people's minds here. Clementine Logan, CCTV in Kinshasa.